It's sport time now and we are starting with what many pundits and boxing fans were already calling the fight of the year. Gedling featherweight Lee Ward was defending his world title against Ireland's Michael Conlon in front of a crowd of thousands at the Notting Arena. The match started disastrously for Lee. He was knocked down in the first round and then lost almost all of the next 11. But in the final 90 seconds of the fight, he came back and he knocked Conlon out, sending him tumbling through the ropes. Afterwards, Lee spoke to Marcellus Baz. Rightly, what a night um, in Nottingham in front of all your home fans. Uh, uh, absolutely fantastic win. Just talk us through um, the fight. Um, it's, it's a good fight, though. very much tough as well. Um, tried to stick to the game plan, but sometimes I strayed from it. Um, yeah, what a night and um, what, what a result. So what was the game plan? You know, I... Um, I don't want to give you too much too much information, but I should have had more lead and work, should have more feints, uh, sent me to the side more. more but I, the game plan was to go to the body early, because um, chasing the head, you know, I'd have missed all night. But I, th I felt like I did, when I did go, I did go to the body, and it did break him down towards the end of the fight. Is a double Olympian a tricky opponent? Um, you know, what, was you shocked in the first round what happened? You know, you, you got put down. Uh, we thought you was you started the fight really well. Just talk us through that moment. You know, I think the first round was going quite well until that moment. Um, but he sold me a body shot, went body, body, and I parried too hard, and he just switched it over the top. I thought it was a flash knockdown, but you know, a few that I'd said it was quite a heavy one. Um, but I thought I'm, I'll sit on him, sitting on him. I'm positive, you know, I'll get to him, I'll get to him. The next couple of rounds, them looping left hands, they seemed like they were causing you a problem. When did you start having to make adjustments? Ben told me at the end of every round, you need to get under it or you need to step back from that backhand. Um, I thought I started to go under it quite well and I started to throw the body shot off the touch, which he didn't want to throw that because the body shot was coming. And also the straight right, he said if he's going round the, round the houses with it, beat him to it with a straight iron and I think I did a few times but look he kept mixing up he's a good fighter making adjustments so there's um, was a lot of changes in the fight yeah and you know coming up towards the later rounds you started to put the put the foot down a little bit you know put the heat on him a little bit when did you start to think that you had him going yeah obviously with that knock down he probably he got excited early on, he put a lot in early on, he put a lot of body shots in early on. But I think it was the 10th round I started to tuck up in front of him a little bit, give him like a high guard, and he, and he got carried away with body shots. And I seen a lot of gaps, I thought, oh, you, you want to throw around the sides, it's going to leave massive openings, and I think I caught him in the 11th. And the talk for the NFL, if I took up here, he's going to go, and he, and he did, and it gave me the openings that I wanted. Yeah, and it took the shine a little bit off the knockout, didn't it, of what happened to Michael, and we all hope that he's OK, but, you know, what did it mean to you to box in front of Nottingham, all the fans, the atmosphere was absolutely electric. How did, what did that mean to you? It was it was unreal. You know, um, getting the win um, was unreal, and I just want to thank everyone that turned out for me. I've been told that Mick's all right. Um, he's up and he's talking, and that is, is fine, so... Um, I'd like to see him um, and, and have a conversation with him, probably have a drink with him as well, hopefully. That was an absolutely incredible performance. You showed so much guts, you showed spirit, you know, you showed conditioning. Um, who's next for you? We'll see, we'll see. We'll talk to Eddie and um, you know, that first ground fight has been promised me for a long time, so um, I can't see anything else but that in the summer. Mate, your Nottingham fans are going to be adamant that you have to fight in Nottingham in the city ground. That dream has to come true. So, you know, what kind of chances is it to actually happen? Because Eddie seemed a little bit, you know, iffy about, you know, is if Lee Wood fights in Nottingham, it will be at the city ground. But that if, what do you reckon? I'm going to dig my heels in. Yeah. I'm going to dig my heels in. Um, and I do everything in my power to, to make it happen, for sure. Well, you know what? You did Nottingham proud. You are a Nottingham legend, uh, our inspiration and a role model. Congratulations, Lee Wood. Uh, in football, Nottingham Forest midfielder Ryan Yates has signed a new three-year deal.